Hello stamping friends, welcome. This is Sharon Armstrong, your Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I am going to show you how I made this card on this video and I'm using the new Star of Light stamp set with the um, matching framelits. This is sold as a bundle, so you save 10% when you buy them as a bundle. You're going to need the framelits. You cannot you cannot create these gorgeous cards with snips alone, I'm just telling you. So I'm going to give you a few tips on this video. First of all, you'll notice that um, the smaller star is cut out of the white glimmer paper. I don't know if you can tell that it's glimmer paper. So I want to show you a trick. When you're using glimmer paper, um, first of all, I'm making five cards. So I had a piece of glimmer paper and I cut out my smaller star for this first card and then I had plenty of room to cut out my big piece so you'll see that card on another video and um, the trick that I want to show you whenever you're using those detailed framelits and glimmer paper, glimmer paper has a very Oh, what do you call it? Waxy coating. It's a, it's a very stiff card stock and when you run it through your Big Shot, it is very hard to get those details cut out unless you do this. Take your paper piercer. It'll take me a few seconds to get it started, but oh, I'm lucky. I already had a piece going. So I just take and go all the way around. Very quick and easy. I'm removing that backing. Therefore, I don't have as much cardstock to cut through for those framelits, but I still get that beautiful glimmer paper. So you see, just peel it off, and now it's a lot thinner. Very thin, very easy, but it's still gorgeous paper. So that is a great tip to help you. Um, another tip is when you're lining up your stamps, I use my uh, Stampin' Up! grid paper for a million and one things. One of them is to line up my, um, I got that one upside down, I just saw it, to line up my stamps and I use those lines on the paper to make sure that my words are all even. And then I just take my block and pick it up. Okay? Alright, for this card you're going to need a Whisper Watt card base. Go ahead and fold that. Use our bone folder. Give it a good crease. Then you have a Whisper Watt layer. This is um, five and a quarter by four inches. And then um, about this size piece of cardstock is is needed just to cut out those bigger stars. You will have plenty of scraps left over, but um, this piece is five and a quarter by four inches as well. I'm going to use the rest of the paper on other cards cards with this um, stamp set. So that's just to let you know. So the first thing I want to do is I want to stamp my swirls. I love these swirls. Oh my gosh. Let's see, I think I want it this way. I'm using Smoky Slate, which is just a real soft gray. And then I want to get my tiny, tiny little stars out of the set. And I mean, it is tiny. Where is it? Here they are. And I wanted to use, let me center that a little bit better. When your stamps are centered in the block, you get a much better image. So I just wanted a bunch of stars to fill in. There's actually three stars on this little stamp. So that helps give me quite a few options. I can turn it, I can do different ways. So there you have it. All right, so then the next thing I want to do is I want to take my Knot of Navy and I'm going to stamp my sentiments. And it's okay if I stamp over some of those stars 
because I'm using such a darker ink. I also like to keep my stamp on my paper, especially with the photopolymer. I really want all of that ink to soak into my paper. All right, so I've already cut out my star, and as you know, I already cut out my, um, my glitzy star, we'll call it that. I'm gonna take my, um, oh, look at all that glitter on there. It's a crafter's heaven. I'm gonna take my, um, whoops, where is my, snail. Oh, there it is, hiding. And I'm going to just put some snail. Actually, since it's so stiff and heavy, I'm going to use some of the fast fuse. The fast fuse will really stick to that glimmer paper a lot better. Now I want to show you a little trick. I'm sure that you can't tell in the video, but I can see the adhesive in places I don't want. I just take my paper piercer and it just, it's like magic. It just sticks to those glue strays. We do, Stampin' Up! sells a fine tip glue pen, but sometimes I find that a little messy and I love this trick, so hope you do too. Okay, so got that done. So now I want to put it on my bigger star. Oops, there we go. And then my cards are not ever complete until I use dimensionals. Okay, um, before I put my star on, I am gonna go ahead and mount my stamped layer. This is just white on white. I mean, it's not anything fancy. It's just to give it a little bit more depth by having the same color background paper. If you wanted to use Knot of Navy, you could. Okay. All right. So now I'm ready for my star. And there you have it. How fast and easy was that? I hope you enjoyed it. Come back for the next video.